Fresh Bake, we're back again with another installment of our staying at home diary because we're staying at home. It's been now, today's Sunday, it's been eight days since uh, Disneyland has been open. It has been more than two weeks since I've been to the park at all. And at least that long, well, I guess it has been that long since I've done anything socially out there in the world. Uh, the only, I've been out a few times just to get, to make runs to Target, uh, things like that. Um, to get whatever we need for the day and then taking walks and that's about it that's that's all i've been doing all this family has been doing in terms of social interaction but then on the weekends i would go to the park and then on sunday i would get up and edit uh so there was never a day off but uh, even on my days off but i actually did that on a saturday morning which turns out that was liz's birthday uh saturday morning we made breakfast we had breakfast in bed we watched a movie and we played with our daughter in the bed and it was it was pretty amazing i really enjoyed that and it's it's sort of a kind of an odd bass backwards benefit product of of this situation and um i'm not i'm, I'm having trouble like <laughs> uh reconciling the the goodness that has come from this because obviously there's so many you know it's it's not good for a lot of people but that did happen, and as a matter of fact, I, I enjoyed it so much, I did it again on Sunday, and we slept in uh, this morning, watched, uh, what did we watch, Iron Man, and, and played, with, uh, played with Sophia in bed. Matter of fact, now, I did, this time, though, I got a little bit of video, so I did kind of work a little bit, I guess, <laughs> because I got some video with that that I'm going to share with you guys soon. Uh, but again, it was, it's just such a strange thing. I you don't recognize, you don't realize what your life has become. I don't, want, I don't want that to sound wrong or bad, but what kind of life you have until that life is taken from you. And, you know, I, I don't, I guess I never really noticed or realized all that I had been missing. Um, and it took this, it took a national catastrophe for, for me to spend two straight mornings with my wife and daughter in bed. And that's not to say that I don't want to do these things, that I don't want to participate in that life, the fresh baked life, that, that somehow I'm going to give that up or anything like that. It's just I don't need to do it so much. And I think I, I touched on that last in the last episode. And I'm hoping, that actually is gonna to lead to another question that I have for you guys uh, in a second, but that's all I'm saying. It's just, I'm trying to learn from these events and I hope that we all can. I hope that we all can learn a little something while we're in this period. This is an, it's actually something, kind of an opportunity for us to discover ourselves a little bit um, and discover what you know, again, what matters? And I guess that goes towards why we haven't been putting out a lot of content or hardly any at all. Uh, and, and again, it's not so much that I haven't wanted to, that I do want to, but it just hasn't been top of the list. It hasn't been my priority. Um, my priority has been to take care of, you know, the family, to take care of whatever it is we need to do and to and, and, and in so doing, it has sort of detracted from my inspiration. It sort of kept me from, you know, burying myself at the computer and at the desk because I, I've been participating in that other part of, of life. The question that I want to ask you guys, the question that I brought to this video that I was thinking of before I started recording was, how do you think these experiences that we're having now, how are they going to affect us? when the gates are opened again. And by that I mean, are we going to continue on these lives of, of uh, isolation, staying, you know, staying at home, staying away from crowds out of fear or uh, because we've discovered some sort of level of comfort with that? Uh, some people seem to be okay with it. Some people were already you know, <laughs> self-isolating. There's lots of that, I know. Um, but maybe, maybe some are going to take, they're going to be at home more than they used to be. Or is it the opposite? Or will there be some sort of, 
you know, I don't know, orgasmic release of tensions and people are just going to run out into the world and participate in every manner of social gathering, be it sporting events, movies, uh, restaurants, theme parks. Um, will there be an explosion of people trying to go back and, and do those things, find those things that they didn't get to do that they were missing out on? Uh, I wonder what that's going to look like. Um, will there be caution or will it be you know, uh, hedonism. <laughs> I, I realize I'm doing two extremes, I guess. There probably is lots of middle ground there. And I, I will probably be among the middle in the most part because I already was a bit of an isolationist, except when I went to Disneyland. Disneyland actually, I mean, I've said that before in videos that Disneyland was my, my release of that, of that uh, feeling that I have. I, I'm, uh, um, I have social anxiety. I don't don't, I don't know how to be around people sometimes, especially new people. Um, it's very awkward. It's, it's, you know, I, it doesn't always show when, when I meet folks in the park, but, or maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> you guys tell me. Uh, I do my very best to express, you know, you know, express myself when I do meet folks, but there is, has always been a level of social anxiety for me, and Disneyland has always been uh, my aversion therapy, uh, in, uh, I think, is that the right word? Where you force yourself to do the thing that you're afraid of or that you don't want to do. And, and luckily, it's not so much forcing because I very much love Disneyland and I love the feeling that I have when I'm there because I get to be or act in a way that is counter to my normal default position. I don't like my default life. I don't like being an isolationist. It's not something that I seek out or enjoy. I don't get pleasure from it. I, it's, I do it because I have fear um, that uh, I, you know, that I, I feel the awkwardness. I fear the interactions with, with people. Um, it doesn't, uh, it's uncomfortable for me. So when I go to Disney, I can, I can be out there amongst folks and, and uh, you know, be a social person. However it is that I want to be. And I've said that a lot before in terms of other things where Disneyland does give you the chance. It, it lets you be the person you most like to be, in my opinion. Uh, it's the safest place in the world. Disneyland, for me, is the safest place in the world to be exactly who you are. So I would ask that question of you guys. What, you know, where do you fall on that? If, are, are you, are, are you going to run right out and go see a movie or go to a sporting event? You know, I, I don't know why... <laughs> I mean, there are, sporting fans are going to go. I know that. Sport, sports fans are going to go back to the stadiums, if only because they're not playing any sports at all right now. So you, you, you would miss it so much, right? Like, I could, I, I could get it if you were a sports fan, but they were still playing the sports just without, you know, at, you know, without crowds. Because they, they talked about doing that for a while. They talked about playing uh, golf tournaments and, and, and basketball games. So, they talk about playing those games just without a crowd. Um, but I think they realize that that's kind of not fair <laughs> to the athletes, right? We're all safe. We're at home watching the games, but those athletes are still trading the, the virus because uh, we know that there are athletes out there who have it. So you can't risk the athletes' you know, health either. I digress. If they had been playing those games... Maybe we'd be less likely to run out and go see a game, a sporting event, uh, when, they, when things do happen. And by the way, I, I think that that could be the most important thing to happen socially is when we get the okay to go for sporting events. That will be, that's, that's, the, that's the one thing that I think that this world needs more than anything else. More than, more than movies, more than theme parks, um, more than just being able to go to the mall. People still go to malls, I don't know. Uh, but just being out, I think that, I think it's sports, and we don't even realize this, even if you're not a sports fan, sports are such a major part of our collective experience. Um, that it's the shared, you know, that shared experience. We're really going to miss. It's hard. It is hard not having sports. It is really hard. Um, 
I don't know how these radio stations are going to keep doing content day after day because they go in and have to do their hour for <laughs> not just hour. You know, it's 24 hours. The, the sports news cycle is constant. It's always on. And they're all they talk about right now is the coronavirus. That's all they're talking about. They're not in an NFL free agency. That's about it. And Tom Brady. But that's, you know, how far is Tom Brady going to take you? So people are going to be desperate. They're going to be desperate to get that stuff back. I think that Disneyland can wait a little while longer than sports fans can. That's just my opinion. I'm a fan of both. So I, get to, I think I can speak to that. Um, but anyway, that's my, that's my talking point for today. Uh, and I want to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, where, where do you guys, where do you land on, you know, this sort of, this post-pandemic world where we're finally able to be free and do things? Where are you going to go first? Are, I mean, are you going to, are you going to go to Disneyland? Are you going to go to the movies? Are you going to go out there and, 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 and just go crazy with social stuff? Or are you going to stay home and, uh, because you've liked you liked the isolation or you were a little nervous or a little scared. Let us know guys, let us know in the comments below and stay tuned. We've got some, uh, we got a little bit of vlogs coming up and I'm, we're starting to get those gears moving again. I'm starting to get my mind. I'm starting to get used to creating content again. I put out a frozen video, which I mean, it's, I'm not expecting anybody to watch it. That commentary, it was just something that I wanted to do, something to occupy myself while I was trying to figure things out. It's not a video per se. Enjoy it if you like, but I mean, I, I'm not expecting anybody to watch that one. So stay tuned for some actual vlogging soon. Uh, and just remember you guys that I love you. I miss you very much. I miss uh, sharing that Disneyland experience with you, but, uh, but do be safe. Do be safe. Be patient with this experience. Be patient. Don't be in a hurry to go outside. I know it's tempting to want to do all those things. Please stay home. Um, cause I don't know if I can handle any of you guys getting sick. I couldn't help it. So wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Practice social distancing when you, you know, when you are out there, uh, and stay safe, you guys. I love you. We'll see you next time. Fresh baked.